I'm coming on hours later because <laughs> at some point in time in this video as I'm bending over and like flicking my hair up my hair got stuck in my lip gloss and left streaks across my cheeks I don't know when yet but when I went and looked in the mirror after I filmed this video I had pink streaks on my cheeks from my lip gloss so if you see it happen <laughs> we'll try and find that moment when I have pink streaks across my cheeks but it happened somewhere in this video I just wanted to pop back on so that I can say that I knew that it happened but guess what I'm not gonna refilm the video you're gonna get what you get because it's an authentic empties and I already dumped it all in the trash so I'm not gonna go fishing it out and recycle bin because it's na nasty down there so anyways that's what it is uh, but I did want just want to say that I'm fully aware of what I did okay on to the empties Hey everyone, welcome back. So I'm doing an empties. You guys, I have so many empties here that I've been stocking up, waiting to share with you. This is like what I would repurchase, products that I've used up and I love. So buckle up, let's get started. I do wanna say I always get questions about my jewelry. So first I just wanna start out by saying Miranda Fry has some new fall pieces and I'm wearing a few of them. I believe this is called the Remington and then these are the Miranda Fry hoops so they just kind of have like the logo in them I love both pieces and I also have a discount code with Miranda Fry if you're interested I will leave that linked down below and I think it's free shipping in the US as well okay let's go ahead and get started into my empties first thing I want to talk about are these tinkle women's shaver razors they're like those small individual razors I just have the box um, because I just throw them away but they're just basically for shaving your peach fuzz. So a lot of people do that to exfoliate the face, shave the peach fuzz off, your makeup applies smoother, skincare sort of goes on better. So I do that every, it comes with 36 razors. I get these off of Amazon. I've already ordered another box. I will say that this box versus my second box, like I feel like the razors aren't as sharp in the second box. So I've never had that happen before. I've ordered the I ordered these in bulk multiple times, um, and I've never noticed like a significant difference between the razors in the first box and the second box. But I thought I would note that. Um, so I don't know what it is, but I just feel like the second box they're a little bit more dull, and I could get a, it a lot smoother on my face with this first box. Okay, next up is Dove body wash. My kids use this. I use this. I absolutely love. Dove, uh, I just kind of have it in like rotation. I have several body washes, but Dove is always like an old faithful for me. This is my husband's body wash. He absolutely loves this brand. I think you can find it like at HEB, Target. This is the Cremo All Season Body Wash, Blue Cedar and Cypress. It smells extremely manly. This is the one he repurchases. He doesn't want me to like buy any. I used to buy him Dove and he just like didn't like it like Dove men's. And he just thinks that this scent lasts longer on him. He likes it better even though it's more expensive, but whatever. Okay, I have a purple shampoo and a conditioner. I don't know where the shampoo is. It's in here somewhere. I go through these. This is the only purple shampoo that I and conditioner that I have been using. This is from Kristen S. It is the best in my opinion. Both the shampoo and the conditioner really, really tone my hair and give it like a really nice ashy tone. I get asked all the time, even by random people when I'm out, what shampoo and conditioner I use to give my hair that ashy, more ashy tone because my hair turns very brassy. So I use this like, I would say once a week and I'm, I leave it on for a while, but be careful the first time that you do it because it's no joke. It will really turn your hair almost low key lavender at first. So if you're using it for the first time, you just kind of want to see how it goes. I wouldn't leave it on for more than a minute. Um, the first time the shampoo and the conditioner I recommend using both not just the shampoo but you're really gonna get you know those extra results using the conditioner okay these two are like the, they're peeling they're so old that fi I finally got through them this is the Kerastas and it's in ugh, fondant dentiste it's for it's a botifying shampoo like to bring body into the hair 
The scent of this is so good. I want to bottle it up in a perfume. I think I've said before, this smells like a girl who like pays all of her bills, like works out every day and drinks Diet Coke on Tuesdays. Like this literally is someone whose life is completely together. So I really, really love the scent of this and I like the way that it makes my hair feel. But I mean, it is quite expensive, so I feel like other things are just as good, but I really like this for like a regular shampoo and conditioner. Again, we got another Dove body wash. Deep moisture one is the one that my kids use. They also use the sensitive one. Okay, more shampoo type products. This is the Kerastase. Um, I guess it's Son Premier Therapiste. There is a shampoo, and I this is the shampoo, and then I think there's a conditioner. Anyways... You end up using the conditioning product first in this line, and this is a repurchase of mine. I've had this before, and I really, really loved it, so I repurchased it. I love this teal line. I, I have the other one, I think, in here, so hopefully I'll get to that, but it is one of my favorite shampoo and conditioners. It makes my hair so soft. This is for very damaged, over-processed, fine hair. If I have had like a lot going on to my hair, I will use these and I just love, it makes my hair literally so soft and manageable. This is a really good, it's like peeling from being in the shower. This Joico Color Therapy Luster Lock, I love this. It's like another sort of like deep conditioning treatment. It really does bring instant shine to my hair. So I end up using this about once every two weeks. I really like it um, as a good deep conditioner. You guys, I go through dry shampoo, but like I don't think I'm a dirty birdie, but if I work out and like I still have to go somewhere during the day because I walk twice a day, so I walk four miles sometimes in the morning and four miles at night. So if I walk four miles in the morning and I know I'm already going to the gym at night and then gonna walk more at night, I do use dry shampoo during the day. So like today, I walked four miles this morning. So I go through a lot of dry shampoo. I really love the Batiste. So I have two of the regular. This one is the uh, Fruity and Cheeky Cherry and another regular. I like the regular fresh scent, light and breezy. But a shampoo that, or a dry shampoo that I've been using a lot recently, it is more expensive, is the Kristen S Dry Shampoo. I really like this one. Um, I repurchased it recently because I had a travel size and I was like, oh yeah, when I went to Michigan, I realized how much I loved this one. So this is definitely going to be one that I'm going to repurchase. However, the Batiste works honestly just as well. I just had one bottle that I brought with me on my trip and it was like something was wrong with it. It was junk so it was like coming out clear and it actually made my hair greasier so then I kind of got pissed and I was lucky I had that Kristen S one so that's kind of why I'm on the Kristen S train it's a really good dry shampoo if you're looking for one okay this is a NutriCare restructuring shampoo from Fanola I love the Fanola no yellow line for a purple shampoo but I moved to the Kristen S one but before that I used up this Evo Fabuloso Platinum Blonde. I liked this but again I am fully committed to the Kristen S the one purple shampoo. Here's another Batiste dry shampoo. This is the Vibrant and Fruity. I love 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 this this is Davines, which is the hair brand hair dye that I use. Like when I go to the salon, that's what they use. This is the nourishing shampoo for dehydrated scalp, dry and brittle hair. I love this so much. I love the scent of it. I, it really smells, I would say like more of like a natural scent, but fresh, like a fresh natural scent. I just really like this. I will probably repurchase this. Here is the purple shampoo that I had, the Kristen S purple shampoo. I showed you the conditioner. I have this Briogeo Be Kind. This is the shampoo. This is the Matcha and Apple Replenishing Superfood Shampoo. I have several of these as backup because I love the shampoo and conditioner. I'm still working through the conditioner. That's how it always works. I always go through the shampoo before I go through the conditioner. My kids used up this Whole Blends Gentle Shampoo. This is uh, Garnier. And they liked it, but they didn't say anything about, like, loving it or anything. Um, this was my husband's a long time ago. This is the one, the Dove one. It's a shampoo and conditioner. He likes this, but uh, I think, actually, he repurchased that for a shampoo and conditioner. And then another one of this, these Cremo body washes. He gets specifically the Blue Cedar and Cypress. That's the two or three that he's had in that. Hey, Kids Detangler, I usually stick with Suave Kids. I love this one in the... Ooh, what's this, the Dutch Apple? I always, or the Silly Apple, they changed it. It used to be Dutch Apple, to be honest. Um, I always buy that, but I did try the Honest Conditioning Detangler Leave-In in Orange Sweet Vanilla. I like that, but it's not 
my favorite. And then I tried the Cantu Conditioning Detangler for kids. This was good. Um, I liked this on one of my twins' hair that's curly. I really like this line for her curly hair. Um, but this worked fairly well. Okay, I stand corrected. My husband has the sage and citrus, but he has two of the other ones, so I think that he likes the sage, the other ones better, but he does have the sage and citrus. Let me smell this one. Oh yeah, I like the other one better. This smells too sagey. I don't know. I, I prefer the others. I go through bottles and bottles of this just because the Dove Dry Spray um, deodorant. I just like the way that it smells. I do use the Kapari, so um, I love that one as well. But this is the Makeup Cleansing Removing Wipes for from Up and Up brand. I love the Up and Up brand. I only buy those. And then these are the Pixie Makeup Melting Cleansing Cloths. They didn't really do very much. I would never repurchase these. Okay, this is the it, it's a 10 Miracle Leave-In product. I love this. I would definitely repurchase this. I use it for my kids' hair. And then this is the Basis Cleaner Than Clean Face Wash. I love this as well. Two skincare products that I will for sure always repurchase and I have already are the Sunday Riley Good Jeans. I feel like this makes such a difference for my skin. This is an all-in-one lactic acid treatment. Honestly, this combination of these two, this is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Lines Serum. I love this. This just totally has transformed my skin. I use this combination every single night and I've repurchased it over and over. I love these two and if I could recommend any two, it would be these. Okay, two mascaras that I love. The Lancome Monsoor Big already repurchased. It's the best. It's the only mascara that I use. I did end up using up the It Cosmetics Superhero. I love this. I like it on my bottom lashes. A foundation that I always have in my repertoire is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Maximum Coverage. I love this. I use creamy vanilla. You just add a little drop to it to any foundation and it makes it full coverage. Okay, two more products. I have this Bum Bum Cream from Sol de Janeiro. My absolute favorite. It smells so good. It's honestly my number one. And if I could recommend anything, it would be this as a body cream. This is the only thing I buy for my body creams. And last but not least, my favorite lip product. This is the Sephora Lip Plumper. This is in 01 Outrageous Effect Lip Plumper. This reminds me of the Dior Lip Maximizer. It's the best and it just makes your lips juicy and shiny. So um, definitely already repurchased that multiple places. I have it in my car, in my purse, next to my bed. I just love it so much. That is it for my empties. Hopefully you guys enjoyed talking some trash, seeing what I would repurchase. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you all in the next video. Mwah.